Oi from Maastricht here in the Netherlands. Southeast Netherlands, a region that is well, it's surrounded by Belgium and Germany. They're very close by, I mean like driving distance about 10 minutes. But today we're gonna check out the city of Maastricht. Joining me is gonna be the Sophonator, yeah, getting yeah. her Instagram shots there. And we're gonna explore this place. Check it out, it's one of the oldest cities, if not the oldest here in the Netherlands. So yeah, that, that's something to check out, let's do it. COVID measures in place. Sadly, these restaurants are all closed. It's at this point that the new part of the bridge meets the old part. Modernist, old school, medieval, cobblestone steps. Check out the vending machines here. With the market going on outside, seems like it's not very popular right now. Check out the local fries, we're gonna try them. Earlier there was a line going all around here. Seems to have died out, so we're gonna try it out. I'll take some large fries. Large fries, you want something else, some sauce? On the side, please, some mayonnaise. On the side, mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. And would you say these are the best fries here in Maastricht? They say so, yes. yes. They say so. <laughs> yeah. What makes them so good? Uh, we cut the potatoes fresh. Okay. And we bake in animal grease and uh, beef fat. Oh, okay. So like they do in Belgium, you yes, guys are yes. doing that. All everything right. Everything is fresh. We make everything ourselves. Fresh. So these potatoes are peeled in the morning here. Yes, every morning. All right. And the mayo. It's a homemade mayo. Homemade mayonnaise. Uh, you're, gonna, you're never gonna find it. All right. Elsewhere. Awesome, uh, brother. Trucks, one uh, yeah, two is fine. Two is fine. Uh, will be four seventy-five. There you go. The young man, thank you. Twenty-five. This should change. All right, thank you, brother. Have a good one. You too. Thank you. Forks, napkins, napkins. Do you want to grab the fries? So, Fenator yeah. takes the fries. All right. Bye bye. Thank you, brother. Smells the same. Oh, look! Now, now we have a line here. Yeah, it smells like those. Belgian fries. They, they do they the same look, in some they parts don't of look Holland. The same though. They don't look the same, but it smells the same. The oh, smell yeah. is beef. This smells delicious. I can't wait. Mmm. Oh, Mmm. Ah, oui? C'est bon? They're crispy. Mmm. Yeah. yeah. They just fried them, so. Crispy, beefy. Mmm. I love it. I love it. Let's try out the local fries here in Maastricht. Mm. Oh, good. Oh, man. Mmm. Oh, okay. They're very crispy. Mm, the other ones fresh. are more like soft. They're really good. They're just very crispy. Mm. Yeah. And it's when they fry with the animal fat. Mm, I love it. Yeah. It gets this unique taste. Oh man. They just look like regular french fries, but they have a unique taste. Yeah. Let's try them with this homemade. homemade mayonnaise that they said they talked about. No, it's a good meal. Yeah. We're gonna try a traditional Dutch snack. Thank you so much. Check it out. What is it called? The Berliner Ballen. So I think Ballen is ball, and they have stuffed it with something, and the French is happy. I mean, it looks amazing. It, it does look good. I still have sugar in my eyes right now. I just can't eat it. I don't know how to eat that honestly without like putting it everywhere. You just put it everywhere. I'll try. Let's bite. Mm. It's super good. Oh man. Mm. Oh man, it looks good. Oh, oh. Are we? Oh. <laughs> it's a hit. <laughs> All right. So coming from a French, that's really good. Yeah, no, it's like a beignet with a sugar powder and like this butter. I don't know how you say that in English. For in French, it's crème pâtissière. It's like a cream, like I don't know, but it's, I love that. It's so good. All right. I'll get a second bite. Give me your opinion. I may have another one. <laughs> oh man, it looks really, really delicious. And it's warm. Mm. Yeah, she was. She was nice. She warmed it I think we have a competitor for the gulab jamun. Mm, oh my god. That is so good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there's no word, right? <laughs> Just so good. Oh man. <laughs> It's making love to me in my mouth. Right? Yeah, I have to agree with that. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It's like a vanilla cream. Very tasty. It's nice and warm. 
It's soft, the powdered sugar, it, it just melts in your mouth. Yeah. Oh man, it's a uh, savory dessert. Yeah, I want another bite. <laughs> You just kind of get the feeling walking these streets that it's not Christmas yet, but it, it makes you feel like it's Christmas a little bit. Are you going to get me a present? Um, <laughs> yeah, let's get some lingerie over there. <laughs> Seems like fries and potatoes are very popular in this town. Look how they just have them outside of the restaurant. These even almost look like kiwis. And well, inside they sell more fries. So which are the best fries in Maastricht? I want um, that for Christmas. You want you the want horse. that for Christmas. <laughs> I want the horse with the present on it. And this I want this big stick, I don't know what it is. You want a big stick for Christmas? <laughs> Check it out guys. Indian restaurant in the building. It's closed though. The price are like mm. the price is European price? Yeah. Let me see, the most expensive biryani I've had so far has been almost 19 euros. I don't even see biryani over here. But yeah, almost almost everything is 20 bucks. <laughs> Check that out guys. No, no, not the mannequins. <laughs> this nice little balcony up there. Real old school. Check out this barber shop. Comes with Chucky. Check out this square. Sadly, it's a bit empty now due to the Rona, but have a look at the historic architecture here in the city center. Check it out, you got a bike rack here. Even here in Maastricht, the Dutch love their bikes. And then we have this unique art. Made out of chewing gum, pepper. <laughs> Made out of chewing gum. Really? Uh, I don't think somebody. But I know. Like it. It's just yeah, yeah. I can see what you're pointing. Like somebody just put chewing gum or clay together, and <laughs> well, it's creative and unique. A unique, uh, unique. I agree. <laughs> unique, you agree. Unique, you agree. Check this one out. It's like he's choking a goose over here, or a chicken. It's like. But look, he, he stuck his hand down the wrong hole over there. He has a brown hand, only can mean one thing. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why else the hand will be brown, unless he was like digging potatoes. And this right here, uh, I guess this can be a drum. I'm not sure. The cactus inside. Good job, good job, Sophinator. <laughs> well, have a look. Right next to the church, it looks like this is where the rich people live. Have nothing but fancy cars and check out these homes. Well, Sophinator has just joined the travels. Yeah. But she's seeing how empty. things are kind of empty due yeah, to COVID. Yeah, it's so empty. Like when you see every bar or restaurant closed, like touristic sites with nobody, it's just really cool to travel like that. <laughs> so you prefer it like that? Like the touristic sites being empty? Yeah, but I want to make sure I can still visit them. But I prefer to go to the restaurant, but I like like having everything for myself. But I don't want the COVID to keep going though. No. <laughs> All right. I don't think any of us do. No. But yeah, it's definitely another way to travel these days. This places are empty. Sadly, we can't go inside. Well, that's one of the effects of the COVID travel. Some places are closed. Oh, wow, have a look at this. Yeah, this is definitely the most medieval Dutch city I have been to. And it makes sense because it's the oldest. Check it out, we're gonna go through the old medieval archway how old is this stuff you know i believe there's some roman history here in maastricht as well and this right here used to be a monastery i believe it's now a super luxury hotel you can book well here we have a medieval monastery turned into a luxury hotel and then right behind it we have the modern Dutch apartments and well really big windows over there let's get a closer look gotta love the Netherlands guys here we have 
the very old medieval monastery turned into a luxury five-star hotel here we have a really old tree and then we have this quirky building here it even has like this little skywalk and well it's an art school it's like a art academy and you have like nice dutch architecture everywhere all next to a medieval monastery check out the dutch apartment community <laughs> sophie's over there like some sort of reptile <laughs> just basking in the sun literally <laughs> oh my god that's what she said check it out there's those apartments we saw the price starting at 470,000 euros and that's how they look inside here we have another really unique door looks like you have church window glass all this in the same area check this beautiful church out Maastricht seems to be the city of churches real medieval style anyway we're just outside of the city now kind of wanted to get a look out here and we ran into this beauty if we walk that that way another 15 minutes we'll make it to belgium on foot no he was talking to this beauty oh <laughs> not sure what to make here here we have the church here we have a building that seems to kind of be separated from it because we have three mailboxes there and then we have a porch parked over here somebody has a lot of money check out the backyard of the church it's like a children's park here with a basketball hoop and bicycles not sure if it's supposed to be a separate little house here we have a Porsche a Land Rover all next to this church interesting if you look into the big windows there on the side there is a laboratory in there it makes no sense these are the things that you only see in Resident Evil but we have a laboratory inside of here so we have a theory as to why they have a laboratory inside of this church and me and Sophinator have agreed that they're creating the COVID-19 vaccine maybe who knows Mass Church will be the first place to have it check out this apartment complex check out the entrance to Maastricht University imagine studying here check out it looks like the faculty office have a look at the entrance you know everything else looks old medieval style and then you have this brand spanking new entrance this bench sitting down on the private bench <laughs> Privé. you can't really sit on it <laughs> it's for ghosts well i'm from miami and we don't really get seasons so I, this might be the first time where i see such a collection you know i've seen this in the movies all the time people doing stuff like this but i never got the chance to do it so this is what autumn feels like i like it Look at these trees. Well, this one already got rid of all the leaves. This one is in the process. Sophie's throwing leaves around. Oh, no, I went away by myself. And well, there's a museum back here. Museum of Natural History. But even right now, we're kind of like outside of the city, the main parts. And well, this city just, there really is old school check out the old library and then well more medieval stuff we're gonna walk around looks like we got a little bit of a park here oh hello nice doggies and oh wow this is yeah no this is beautiful right here right next to where i showed you guys we have a random deer park 
We just have random deers living there. You can see one of the little critters all the way back there. Here we have some young geeses just having a little nap right next to the river. We're gonna respect our local wildlife here. And we're gonna quietly walk away and leave these little critters alone. Check out, we also have some pigeons. Not like it's a really new zoo, I think. Check this out. I'm not a fan of animals in cages or nothing like that, but if for some reason it's gonna happen, at least at least these things can fly everywhere here. They have a lot of space. They have a lot of space. There's multiple species in here. And well, they, I don't know, I think it's still a bit of a tease, you know, it's like, okay, they have all this space, but then imagine having all that. That's something to think about. So just outside of the city, you can just walk through this little nature park here. I like it. I'm loving Maastricht. You know, when they say this is the oldest city in Holland, they're really not joking. I've been to quite a few already and I'm gonna agree. <laughs> Just everything about this place is magical. It's very medieval-like, old school. I mean, have a look at this right here. Look, I want to show you. Somebody has managed to get a bicycle stuck up there. And it looks like it's been there some time. Maybe there's a reason behind it. Wow, it, you really feel like you've gone back in time, 100%. And not just for a little while, but for a long time. All right, this is locked, sadly. What is Sophinator doing? <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> see, you could, I see outside, are there any people? Oh look, and there, there's the front wheel of the bicycle. I don't know if you noticed, but there's a bicycle up there. <laughs> the front wheel is up there. Just imagine all the old conversations that took place here. Like many, many years ago, people were just talking, ah, the, this king, he's not treating us well. We must revolt. Up the medieval steps we go. And let's check out what's up here. Oh wow. So this is the old wall surrounding the city. Check that out. Cannons locked and loaded everywhere. The main city center is that way. Here we have the new bridge. Oh, down there is a little Sophie. Wow. And then we have locks. Check it out, one of the medieval towers there. And then you have this home. It looks like it belongs to Miami. Kind of has that art deco feeling with the big windows. You'll see that in Miami. And then right here, well, here's my hotel, guys. Perfectly located. The Crown Plaza. Check out the other side of the city here. You get the Rotterdam vibes with the quirky architecture. However, it's here that a lot of the architects of the Netherlands come from. Probably that art school we saw earlier. Check out Maastricht train station. It's quite beautiful from outside. Looks like they're doing some work on the side here. Well, for all you locals of Maastricht, this is the before Christmas decorations took over. Check out the work behind the scenes. You need this big crane to do all this stuff. I can just imagine this place without COVID and during Christmas with the- so cute, yeah. yeah. All the restaurant open, all this light must be so cute. Yeah, the river, restaurants, Christmas decorations. It's the most wonderful time of, of the, the year. year. 